Hi everybody and welcome to the second video in the Get Control video series covering drone blocks and Artello drones. In this video, we're going to be covering the basics from powering up our drone to understanding what the blinking lights mean and then of course the most important part of how do we get our code from drone blocks into the drone. Once we've covered that, we'll move on to the next video which will actually cover the programming side. If you've read your Tello drone manual, I'm sure we all have, and you are comfortable connecting to the drone and sending code to drone blocks already, skip this video and move straight on to the next video. And for those of you who are very new to the Tello and have never done anything with one before, this video is perfect for you. So let's get into it. Now first things first, we're going to jump to our OneNote. As we mentioned in our welcome page, the Tello drone doesn't have any GPS and it also doesn't have any really expensive sensors like some of the Mavics. This means it relies on the vision positioning system to hover and find out where it is and how far to go and understand its surroundings. We'll explain this in more detail when we get into our code, but this will actually come in handy understanding this when we try and execute code and that doesn't do what we wanted it to do. That's covered in the troubleshooting section over here. So now let's look at our first steps. On this page, we're going to cover how we get our code from the drone blocks app onto the Tello drone. This needs to be done in a very specific sequence. It takes a bit of effort to learn, not, not a huge amount, like this much, but once you've learned it, you'll see it's not actually that difficult at all. So here's the steps. Now you see 12 steps, you go, oh, too many. It, it's not, uh, it's not that much when the whole grand scheme of things. So let's just start on this diagram and I'm going to do a quick overlay for you and explain. In this example, we have our drone blocks app on our tablet. Oh, there's our tablet. And what we want to do is we want to, before we begin, we want to save this code, okay? And that requires us logging into a drone blocks free account, which is one of the reasons why we have to be connected to the internet when we load up the drone blocks app. You'll see this covered in our troubleshooting section that sometimes you open up the iPad and nothing happens. That's because you're not connected to the internet. Okay, so the iPad is connected to the internet, which is this, the teacher's staff or the home wireless, wherever you are. And then what we do is we take this bit of code we've written, it goes through the internet, boom, boom, boom. And then it saves it in a safe little secure place in your drone blocks application. Now that it's saved, what we want to do is we want to actually execute the code. Now our Tello, being a secure device, can't actually talk to the internet. It's actually locked away from the internet for privacy reasons, safety, etc. It creates a standalone little wireless network that we can connect with our other device. So in this case, we turn on the drone and then it creates its own little wireless network. We will then connect to that network with our iPad. Once the connection is established, we'll then send that code to Tello. Tello will then run the code and then fly away or do whatever we programmed it to do. That's the basics. Let's look at what that looks like in real life. Okay, in this live demo, what we're going to do is we're going to use our iPad and the DroneBlocks app to get a little bit of code to our Tello drone. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our settings. So that's just going onto this tab here or there, over there. So we're currently connected to security and that's the internet here. So it tells you that's it, security. It's got a green tick. Now, if we had no internet, it would say no internet, right? So this is a good, clearly secure wireless connection that's giving us internet. Okay, so now what we can do is we can open up drone blocks and we open the app. Now, a couple of things to point out quickly. When we open up drone blocks for the very first time, you'll notice there's things there like alt, sat, spat, dist, head, and um, no aircraft connected. So that's a bit odd. It's pretty technical. Now, what this means is that we are simply in the drone blocks for the Mavic devices. We're not actually in the specified Tello version. Now that's quite straightforward. What we'll do is we'll click on this over here and it will have Tello blocks somewhere down there. Okay, so let's try that. So we go there. Okay, so you'll notice that this has come up. There's our Tello blocks. That's what we want to switch into. So we'll just go Tello blocks. Now, here's a quick giveaway. Currently it says connect to Tello and it has bat. Okay, so that's saying that's a good sign. This this is a little subtle difference. This is to show us that we're actually in Tello blocks. Only code that we build in the Tello side of the drone blocks app will work on our little Tello drone. So the first thing we want to do once we're getting started, if this is going to be our main machine, we want to click on here. Okay, so we tap on that. 
and then we want to click on login just that it can't now if you haven't signed in with your password before you'll have to sign in with your password to tell if we've successfully signed in and we can actually save what we'll do is we'll go back to the menu here and what you'll notice is now we have this option here save mission and my missions now that wasn't previously available and it's only available if you sign in using your account because we want to do that because that's the best way to actually save our code once we've built our little apps so what i want to do now is i want to just quickly get the mouse out of the way i want to quickly make a basic app so we'll get it to take off and we'll get it to land now very important you have to have takeoff and land at the top and bottom of your code or it will not run right so now we have takeoff and land so what i want to do is i actually want to connect it to Tello. so the first thing to do is i need to tap on this here now it's very misleading because that is not actually a button it's just tap and a menu will appear if it was a little button that would be awesome because we'd look at it and go hey i want to click on that sadly it's just some words but if you do tap on that it will bring up a menu so i'm going to tap on this right now and watch what happens okay so after i've tapped this this menu appears here and what we want to do is follow these steps and it says go to settings go to wi-fi connect to the Tello network, reopen the app, and click on this connect button. So we're gonna go do that now quickly. Okay, so we press the home button on our iPad. We go to settings, go to Wi-Fi. Okay, so at this point we wanna turn on, oops, upside down. <laughs> so at this point, we turn on our drone, and you'll see the little lights will start flashing, ignore that red light, but it starts running through its sequence. And what we want to do is we want to wait for this drone to start flashing orange. Right, so there you have it. In the manual, it's actually called yellow, but it looks pretty orange to me. So it's flashing. And now what you'll notice is all of a sudden, hello, we've got this little option here. So we click on that and we connect to Tello. It's going to say connecting to Tello. And once it's connected to Tello, go back to your home screen. Then what we do is we go back to our drone blocks app, click on connect. And now what you'll notice is all of a sudden something's updated. We can now see the battery. And yes, I do need to charge the drone or it's going to run out of steam. So now that it's connected, we'll see that's got the battery, 24%. That's a good sign. It means, it means that we're connected to the drone. Now all we do is we click on this and in the menu, there'll be something here that says launch mission. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so we're going to click on the hamburger up here. And that brings up our menu and we are going to then click on launch mission and what it does is it translates that code to tello sends it to the drone and executes the mission so watch what happens when we click launch mission and you're going to hear there you go drone is taken off now let's just say we build up quite a series of things right now we've built this app and we want to actually save it what we would then do is we would go back to our menu Go into your settings. Once you've connected back to your main wireless, which will give you internet, you'll notice that Tello is still down here. So we haven't turned off the wireless for Tello. We've just disconnected. Okay, so we want to go back to our home screen. Go back into our Tello app. And now, once we've done this, we can click on here. Up here. That's going to bring up our menu again. And this time, what we want to do is we want to go save mission. So save mission. And now we can just say save this file again this is just a demo we'll get into the nitty-gritty in the next video and then basically once you've done that we're just going to click on the save button that's going to save our code your mission as you can see here your mission has been created and saved so that's the biggest thing to remember connect to the internet to save your to save your missions and to pull down previously saved missions then connect back to the tello launch a mission and once you get used to bouncing back and forth between the wireless, you'll find that it's actually a lot easier than it looks. You actually get very familiar with that process. In this last part of the video, we're going to look at the LED quickly and find out what the different light sequences mean. So as you can see here, it says cycling red, green, orange means it's booting. Flashing orange means it's waiting for a wireless connection. Now, blinking and flashing. Flashing is quick, blinking is slow. Okay, just for this context so blinking green is a good sign 
That means the visual positioning system is active, it's working, the drone will steady itself and it will respond to your code quite accurately. And then blinking orange is a bad sign, it means it's altitude mode, it's not using the visual positioning system, and it's pretty much time to land before something bad happens. Now I've actually got some examples, I'm going to call those up quickly. All right, let's turn on our drone and we'll see this light here start to flash. All right, ignore the red light and pay attention to this. See, red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow. I still say it's orange, but the manual says yellow. Okay, and now watch, it's starting to flash really quickly. This is the point that it's activated its wireless access point, and it's ready for you to connect into the Telo wireless device. Okay, now I want to show you an example of when the VPS is running, and it's flashing. Oh, yes, look at that green screen. Now watch, watch the light. Right, green, green and it's being responsive, it's flying quite nicely, green, so the green flashing light, it, it's behaving itself. Now, at some point, I actually turn the lights off, and I want you to see what happens. So the lights have been turned off. Now, watch what color you see just before it crashes. And there it is. It's so, it crashes. That's because it's now using altitude mode. And you see this crashing thing around the place. So, yeah, it's really hard to see. There you go. I'm trying to steady this thing. It's so difficult. It's not listening to me. That orange light means it's time to land. Okay. Right. So that is the, basically our first few steps. In the next lesson, we're actually going to cover some basic programming, and we're going to start with the basics of navigation. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.